I am the franchise king, Joel Lavava. Crumble Cookies, the Crumble Cookie franchise, has a couple issues. Um, I reviewed uh, Crumble Cookie about a year and a half ago, and uh, it was really, really rocking and rolling. A fast-growing franchise, which I don't necessarily like. Not Crumble specifically, but franchises. I found over the years that franchise opportunities, franchise businesses that grow too fast, tend to be problematic if they are not supported quickly and if the infrastructure is not in place. Franchisees really need to be supported. Real estate needs to be uh, right on the money. Uh, locations need to be open quickly. Um, it, it's a big deal uh, when you have a hot franchise like Crumble. Anyway, since that review, a couple of things have changed. Uh, the second thing I think you're going to kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, so kind of personally might be able to relate. But the first thing has to do with revenue numbers. In 2023, revenue was down like a lot, like in the 30% range for franchisees and in the 40s for franchisee profitability. That might even be off a little bit. It might be even be in the 50s. Um, that's huge. If, for example, and I'm kind of making this up, if franchisees with one location are taking home uh, net profit $150,000 a year, and all of a sudden that net profit drops to $100,000 a year or less, you're going to have a cadre of very unhappy, unsatisfied franchisees. Now, I, I'm, I think I kind of know what's going on, and this is something that I've seen a lot. Uh, Crumble Cookie has a, is a very good product, definitely excellent. Uh, above average for sure. Uh, the problem is, first of all, the, the retail setup is a little wonky, in my opinion. Um, if, uh, let's say a, a couple in their early 60s walk into a crumble cookie, um, expecting maybe kind of a bakery setup, they're going to be surprised. And it's going to, there, there's a learning curve involved on like how to order. Um, most of the people that uh, have been going to crumble cookies, uh, crumble cookie for a long time, uh, know that, you know, you should order ahead of time. You should, you know, probably find out what the cookies of the of the day are, et cetera. And you go in there after you've ordered and you just kind of pick it up, pick up your, your cookies. Um, but it's a specialty cookie um, bakery, if you will. I mean, there's in the Crumble Cookie near us in Cleveland. Uh, it's about two miles away. Not even. Yeah, about two miles away. Uh, every time I've gone in there, which has been maybe five or six, there are always two employees who definitely do not have breaks because it's not because it's a lousy franchisee that owns it. It's because they're nonstop. They are baking cookies. This is like picking up cookies that are baked for you. They're like still warm when you pick them up in, in a perfect scenario. Um, there's not one person standing at the counter taking orders. There are two people, they are working, they are, one is mixing the dough, one is doing the custom orders. Um, I guess the setup works. It seems like it'd be pretty stressful though, because it's, it's kind of a nonstop operation like that. So that's one problem. Um, I see it as a problem, but hopefully the employees are getting paid like 15 bucks an hour because they are humping it. I'm telling you. Um, and, and if there's only two of them, they're doing the work of three, in my opinion. Now, Crumble management might not be happy with uh, uh, that view that I'm taking, but um, I was an employee in the, in the food service business, so I understand it. Um, and I don't know about you, but, you know, in the five or six times I've gone there, that's like in the past year and a half. Um, I don't generally think about, hmm, it's time. Let's go pick up uh, some Crumble cookies. I think of it when people are coming over our house. Um, we're trying to think of an idea, maybe ice cream, maybe not. Oh, let's get crumble cookies. So my daughter's usually over uh, at that time, and she goes right on the app and orders it before I even think about it. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, we just go pick it up, and it's generally ready. Um, but it's a special occasion kind of thing. Even having people over is a special occasion sometimes. Um, I can see it working uh, for parties and catering and stuff like that. but. Um, it's just not a regular place. One of the reasons um, has to do with the cookies are so damn rich. Um, let me give you an example. 
I just happen to have picked up some Cromwell cookies. You can hear them shaking around in there. And the problem that I see is, is a very personal one. But if you're in the 50, if, if you're 50 years old, 60 years old, it may be a problem you experience too. First of all, here's a pro tip. Finish the cookies <laughs> that day. Don't have them hanging around the next day like we do sometimes. And here's the problem. Let's see what we have here. Um, all right, I'm going to do the, the cookie dough one, which is fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a couple bites of it. I'm going to stop the video for a couple uh, minutes. You won't notice. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to share the problem. Even a day old, these things are incredible. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been about 10 minutes or so since I had that uh, fantastic cookie from Crumble Cookie. Um, mm. Oh, wow. Um, I'm like really tired. Uh, and if I waited 15 more minutes after this 10 minute pause, um, it would literally be like nap time. I might be watching uh, uh, Cavaliers or the Guardians and I swear I will literally start fading. So don't, don't, don't have these things hanging out the next day. Um, the sugar high, uh, what comes up comes down. So that is the second problem that I see. Um, there is so much sugar in these cookies and so much dough that it is a major sugar high and you come down really hard. Well, in my case, I come down really hard. Um, all in all, uh, Crumble Cookie franchise, I think is is a, a pretty good opportunity. Uh, I gave it, um, I, I gave it an above average rating when I did the review and you'll see the link below to the review plus the updates with uh, um, new um, uh, franchise uh, store revenue and and profit. See already, I'm like, uh, uh, so you'll see it in the link below the, the review. I'm not sure if I'm going to change the number of crowns that I use for the review. Um, I, I definitely lean towards recommended when I did the review about a year and a half ago. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. And I, I'll decide. Um, I don't know if this fad is fading. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the healthy food that people want. You know, like for example, does crumble do a sugar-free cookie? I, I'm not like a crumble fan. Um, like I don't watch their specials and what their cookies of the day and the week are. Um, but if they make a sugar-free cookie, um, you know, maybe I would try that. Um, and, and I would imagine that headquarters has thought of it if they're not making them already. Um, but they are, um, please subscribe, uh, if you want more videos, um, that might be as not as strange as this one, but if you want to learn, um, everything about buying a franchise, researching a franchise and, uh, facing a cookie with a franchise. Just hit the subscribe button. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBava. And you know what I'm doing now, right? I'm getting out of here and I'm taking a little nap. Thanks for watching.